Prince of Enugu. He has given cars to the church. He has given money, millions to the church. He has stood for the church. In fact, he is one of the reasons why Catholic Diocese of Enugu have not lost many members. I'm telling you the fact. So, Bishop, reconsider your actions and tamper justice with mercy. There is something I know about life. When Eji came back, I spoke about P2B and the saga went wild. He came out, he personally wrote and apologized. He's a man. He can make mistakes. He's a man before becoming a man of God. There is a human nature in him. He's not a spirit. We will not because of this mistake forget about the good works of this great man. Let us not join the powers in the water world. Let us not join the Oboni and the occulting people in the political gathering to rubbish the gift that God has given to the church. Share this message when you get it. Share it and share it until it gets viral. Catholic Church, please bring Mbaka back. And please, I plead to the Catholic priest, come up and talk to your bishop. We can't lose that man. There are thousands of people shedding tears. There are people, in fact, on that very day, he paid a bill of about three million for a man whose wife gave birth to quadruplet, I mean four plates, who could not afford the money. He took it upon himself. It takes a man that has conscience and body for the people to do such. It's not easy to give. There are testimonies, there are miracles, there are blessings. And then we pick only one portion. And then kill the millions of good in this man. I want to add this this way. It is a shame to the body of Christ if they allow Mbaka to be silenced. But one thing I know about him, you can't silence him. That man is a tsunami. That man is an institution. That man is a nation. That man, Mbaka, Otu Esi Etri Tia, in as much as that everybody is under the authority of the church but then when he got consider and with a role somebody plays in a family you don't treat him like every other person all fingers can never be equal it can never be equal everybody is gifted in his own area and this dear man of god is gifted in many areas is he passion is his zeal? Is his strength? They transferred him from, G, from GRA. He obediently went down. They say ban on the church. He closed it down. Somebody of his height in the Pentecostal world will not close that thing down. That is to tell you that this man is a humble man. Bishop, call your son. Speak with your son. Because he is an asset to the church. Don't allow jealousy, envy, enemies of the church to work against the church. And Christians all over the world, let us be praying for Reverend Fadeji Kembaka. I know he will come back stronger. He will come back. Let me tell you, there is no joy closing down another ministry. And then another pastor is somewhere celebrating at least this one is closed down then we are not christians let that ministry keep going because the rising of that ministry will not stop the rising of another ministry rather there is a space he occupy in god's program if you stop umbaka can you do what umbaka is doing if you stop umbaka see whether we talk about p2b or no p2b is a personal matter look at p2b statements and this reverend baka even went to the essence of telling us he's my friend. Friends can quarrel. Friends can have disagreements. Even Amaro Karerege. We need him. Even in this 2023 election. It is better we unite and fight a, a cause and win than allowing the devil to divide us. 
Redemption family, Christians all over the world, anywhere you are hearing my voice, keep praying for this great, gentle, wonderful, how do, I, I don't know how to describe this great man of God. He's a great man of God. I am a preacher. I am into the prophetic ministry. When I see anointing, I know anointing. I know what God told me about Reverend Eji Kembaka in 2007. That man is a man that we need from this side. The only man that can stand and challenge DSS and everything, telling them to release the Namdekano with boldness. Christians, let's not join some idiots outside. You don't do family meeting in a marketplace. 